Buenas, buenas, buenas. Pues ahora tenemos una rueda de prensa de nuevo bien fresquita con Sven, en la de Carry de Cloud9, después de su victoria contra Detonation Focus Me, que bueno, desde el MSI que hay un poco de pique. Uh, soy Bobo y le he puesto a grabar tarde. Se corta la primera pregunta, pero básicamente una pregunta sobre Miss Fortune en el meta y por qué está saliendo tanto. Y la respuesta sí que ya la tenéis el completo ahora mismo. I think a um, makes it much better. But it's also really fine with Leona, Macan, anything that has CC. Um, it's meta now because they nerfed Aphelios, they nerfed Vars, they nerfed Kalista, they nerfed Kai's and Shazam before that, they nerfed Blades. All the things that MF doesn't use have been nerfed. So she naturally just rose to priority because of you know all things getting nerfed a little bit. Um, that's all why she's so played. And I think Amumu becoming a support champ and becoming much stronger as well made her you know that season one mobile combo, the Curse of Set Bolt Time, whatever they call it, is now. A real thing again, so mm -hmm. that's why MF is so popular as a pick. And I also think that she's a very easy champ to play, so you will see a lot of teams and planes played. Whereas in the main stage, it might not be played that much. So, yeah. Also for me, it's a comfort pick. I like playing MF. I have a really good record on it, and I feel very comfortable playing playing it. And my teammates like playing with it, so it's a good pick for us. That's why I asked you. Thank you so much for your answer. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Benjamin Dexerto. Hey man, congratulations on the win. Um, plain and simple, was this a revenge game for MSI? I think we already had revenge against DFM and our second game against them in uh, at MSI, but this feels good because this was the first game of the tournament. Last time we played against them, at the first the first game against them at the MSI, we lost. Um, and I felt like we were better than them as a team. So now it feels good to beat them in the first game of the, the, the tournament. Feels very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, Eduardo. Hi, Sven. Congratulations again for winning the game. Uh, some predictions say that DFM is expected to achieve better position than Cloud9. What's your opinion about that, and especially after that victory? I mean, I'm not sure what their reason is behind that, but if they have something to say about it besides just that, then you know, I'm open to hearing about it, but I think that we are better than DFM. I think that was shown at MSI already. I don't think that. We have to show it again. Um, we already won against them, and I think the game speaks for itself. So, yeah. Benina, Shinonje, Gita, Nimina, Ianbi, Gita, Nim, Chilmun, Isishingaya. Chilmun, Opsushimanen, Kunyang, Chinengaku, Hanguk, Tongok, Sakaya, and Dagodesoya. So a lot of people actually say Group B is very well evenly matched, and which could be a, not an ideal comment for a team who came from a major region. So who do you think will make it out of the planes uh, in group, group B? I don't think that we're making out of Group B as a first place team. That's our goal at the very least. Um, I think we're lucky to dodge both Hamel Life and LNG. They're, in my opinion, the two best teams in the planes, and I think that we should be grateful to be not in their group. Um, but I do think that we're better than the rest of the teams in our group, and I do think that DFM is one of the better teams, and I think that Beyond Gaming losing to GS was not something that most people thought would happen, so I feel very confident in our ability to make it out as the first place team in plans. 네, 이제 사실은 1위가 뭐 1위 할수 있을 것 같다고 생각하면서 1위가 목표라고 하는데요. 왜냐하면 사실은 플레인에 있는 모든 팀 중에 하나 생명 이스포츠와 LNG가 가장 강하다고 생각을 했는데 그두 팀을 모두 피하는 조에 편성돼서 아주 다행이면서 고맙게 생각하고 있다고 합니다. 그리고 그두 그 팀을 제외한 나머지 팀을 비교하면 우리 팀이 가장 강하다고 생각을 하면 우리 조에 있어서는 아마 DFM이 다음으로 강한 것 같은데 또 이번에 그 BYG가 GS 상대로 패배한 것을 보니까 Thanks, Jisun. You're free to go. The rest of the questions are in English. Thank you. Thank you. Alejandro. Hello. Um, I want to know what is your opinion around the current Wars meta now that we have seen every single playing team play on a stage? 
and we have seen a lot of uh, a couple of surprise pick as well. Can you say that again? Sorry, the question. Uh, that what is your opinion of, about the worst meta now that we have in everything player? Um, I think there's a lot of champs that have come up recently, like Trindamir, um, and counters to it, like the Gragas we saw earlier. And I think that AD carry pool has been changed a lot. MF has been a very high priority pick this tournament so far, in the first day at least. And it's because, like I mentioned earlier, that Ephelios, Varos, Kills have been nerfed before that, Tristana and Kaiser got nerfed. So a lot of things got nerfed. And I think that this tournament will see a lot of MF and Lucian in planes at least. I think at some point it will change. People will figure out how to play against it. But for now, MF and Lucian will be played ball in a lot of games. I think it will be picked up and almost every game. I think that besides those champions like Trindamir and then the ball and stuff and the Mumu, there isn't that much difference. Uh, honestly, Lee Sin is still in, the, in every single game, probably. Um, jungle meta has been a bit more assassin focused with Talon, Kiana, possibly Sad coming in. Um, but I do think that the old school champs, Lee Sin, Sin Sao, will still be played. So a little bit different in a few champions, a few roles, but for now, not too much crazy stuff is happening. Leo? Uh, hi, Sven. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your ambition uh, for the tournament, because I you just say like, we're expecting to make it out of playing, but if you make it out of playing, will you be happy, or are you like aiming for going further in the tournament? Uh, I definitely want to make it out of plans, first of all, as first place. That's important to us. And then I want to do i don't really i think that it's a common conception that making out groups the main stage is what matters at worlds i don't think it is sometimes you get an easy group you go three and three or four and two and you go to quarterfinals and get three zero by the first good team you play against right but if you're in a good group with good teams and you put a good fight that's the same thing as beating up bad teams and going to quarterfinals and getting three zero right so it isn't so important to make other groups or not. It's more about the, the performance you, you show up with, right, in the in your group stage. And if we get a really hard group, which we probably will, right, then I'm okay with, you know, not making other groups as long as we play well. If we get 6 0 and we play like shit every game, then that's not okay. So I think a common Western thing, like I said, is thinking that groups, making other groups is good and not is bad. And it's not that simple to me, at least. Eugene. Oh, hi again. Uh, just, well, I just want to ask you, because you are a very well-traveled uh, player, right? You've been to many, many international events. So yeah. with the world's meta being so weird, per se, in scrims especially, uh, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, which 2v2 lane have you had the most difficult time facing and who do you, which 2v2 lane do you want to meet in the future? Do you mean the players or champions? Uh, players, sorry. Uh, we scrimmed against EG once, and it was an eye-opening experience. We didn't win a single game. Um, their ball is very good, their AC especially, so that was a nice experience. Um, I think it was good to practice against those teams, and I think at, at Worlds, there's a lot of champions in Bolland that are very skilled, such as Bushinami. It's, it's, it's hard to play perfectly. And there are champions such as Ezreal, um, high school champion, and MF is the opposite. It's very low skill and easy to play, but play it very well, it, it can be hard. But overall, I would say EG Bolland, the AC at least, is the best player uh, of the ball I played so far. I was playing against all the EU ball lanes, all the NA ball lanes. I think that, you know, overall, the best ball lane I played so far is definitely EDG's ball lane. But I haven't played against all the Korean teams or any of them for that matter. And I haven't played against the other LPL teams yet. So hard to say, right? Mm -hmm. Best of luck if you do meet them. Thank you. Uh, last question, Vitor. Oh, sorry, I, I was muted. Uh, so hi, Sven. Uh, my name is Vitor Ventura. I'm from Mysore Sports Brazil. Uh, so Sven, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time you played Worlds, it was in 2017 with G2, right? Yep. Yeah, so uh, you have already played on international stage with Cloud9 since you played this this year's MSI. But how mm -hmm. are you How are you feeling uh, coming back to, to Worlds stage uh, since it was four years ago since you last played? I'm very grateful to be back at Worlds. It's, I can't describe how devastating it is for a player to go to Worlds every year of your career in 15, 16, 17 for me, and then not going to Worlds for three years in a row. It's devastating to not go. As a player who is very passionate and very competitive, I 
can't accept not going to Worlds. It's not good enough for me, right? At that point, especially once you made semifinals and you're going to MSI finals and all that, you can't go down anymore. You can't not go to Worlds. It's not good enough for you anymore. So it feels terrible. Um, and I think that had we not made it this year, it would have been really bad for me. My career, I would feel like maybe it is my fault that I'm not going to Worlds. And I thought that, you know, you never know what you can start thinking when you don't make Worlds. So I'm very grateful to be here. And last year when they canceled MSI, when I was in, in C9 still in 2020, after we had that great spring split and then we collapsed in summer, it was like everything that could go wrong went wrong that year. And, you know, we stomped spring split really, really well. And we, I think that had we gone to MSI, we were probably lost anyways, but we would have been a much better team for Worlds, which we would qualify for if we gone to MSI. So them canceling MSI and then us not making Worlds a sport place was really hard for me. So I'm very, very grateful to be back at Worlds. That's great, man. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for the question. Bueno, ya está aquí, colegas, la entrevista con el pana Sven. Um, ha estado bastante interesante, aunque no me ha tocado preguntar. Así que, de nuevo, besitos a todo el mundo que se haya visto esta entrevista hasta el final. Chao, chao.